Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the popliteal artery and the popliteal vein. Popliteal artery and popliteal veins are the contents of the popliteal fossa. We know that popliteal fossa is a diamond shaped depression extending from the lower third of the popliteal surface of the femur, the knee joint and the upper part of the back of the tibia. So, first of all we we'll go to the popliteal artery. Popliteal artery is the continuation of the femoral artery at the adductor hiatus. The popliteal artery is a continuation of the femoral artery at the adductor at the adductor hiatus okay we know that adductor hiatus is a gap in the insertion of the adductor magnus so this is femoral artery and it will continue as popliteal artery from the adductor hiatus. This is the adductor hiatus, adductor hiatus. This is a gap in the insertion of the adductor magnus. So, above the adductor hiatus, it is femoral artery. Below the adductor hiatus, it continues, it continues, the femoral artery continues as the popliteal artery. So, this is popliteal artery. So, popliteal artery is a continuation of the femoral artery at the adductor hiatus okay we got that an extension of the popliteal artery extension of the popliteal artery is from the adductor hiatus to the lower border of the here is the lower border of the lower border of the popliteus muscle so from the from the adductor hiatus to the lower border of the popliteus muscle okay so from here to here this is the popliteal artery above the adductor hiatus this is the femoral artery okay we got the extension of the popliteal artery from the adductor hiatus to the lower border of the Popliteus muscle. We got that. Now we we'll go to the branches of the popliteal artery. Okay. Branches of the popliteal artery. Of the popliteal artery. Okay. It has 
muscular branches, genicular branches, and femoral branches. So, muscular branches. Genicular branches. And it has terminal branches. Okay. So the popliteal artery supplies the muscle which makes the boundary of the popliteal fossa. Okay, we got that. That is the muscular branches, genicular branches. We have five gen genicular branches. So we have five genicular branches. Okay, these are the upper, upper, these are the upper lateral, you can say superior lateral, superior lateral, superior medial, medial genicular branch and inferior lateral and inferior medial genicular branches. So we got five genicular branches, superior lateral genicular branch, superior medial genicular branch, middle genicular branch, inferior lateral genicular branch, inferior medial genicular branch. So these are the genicular branches. So if I go here, I'll get here. This is number one, the superior lateral genicular. This is number two, this is the superior medial genicular. This is the middle genicular branch. Then inferior lateral, that is number four here, inferior medial. Okay. So, we got the genicular branches. So we got the genicular branches. These genicular branches along with the descending genicular branch of the femoral artery, genicular branch of the lateral circumflex femoral artery, and the genicular branch of the recurrent branch of the anterior tibial artery, they form the, the genicular anastomosis, okay. They all form the genicular anastomosis. This is very important, especially in flexion of the knee joint, when the popliteal artery is kinked or compressed, this genicular artery provide blood supply to the knee joint and to the and to the lower limb, other part of the lower limb. This is the middle genicular. This is very important. Middle genicular. Middle genicular. Okay. This is this will this, will, this pierces is the oblique popliteal ligament and enters directly into the knee joint okay so we got the genicular branches then we go to the terminal branches okay so terminal branches of the popliteal artery terminal branches of the popliteal artery. Okay. At the lower border of the popliteus, the, the popliteal artery 
will divide it into anterior EDL artery and posterior TBL artery. Okay, so these are the terminal branches. So this is the anterior TBL artery, anterior TBL artery. This is the posterior TBL artery, posterior TBL artery. Okay, you will get the fibular artery as a branch of the posterior TBL artery. Below, just below this bifurcation, you have the fibular artery. Fibular artery is a branch of the posterior TBL artery. You must remember we have a lot of variation may happen in the division and branches of the posterior artery. Okay, we got that. Now we go to the relations of the of the obliteal artery relations we have anterior relations we have posterior relations of the obliteal artery okay anteriorly it is related to the popliteal surface of the femur the knee joint Okay, and the popliteus muscle. So, related to the popliteal surface of the femur, knee joint, and the popliteus muscle. The popliteus muscle. Okay, we got that. Posteriorly, it is related to the popliteal vein. Posterior relations, it is related to the popliteal vein. Okay, the TBL nerve. Fascia and skin. In the lower part, the popliteal artery is lateral to the popliteal vein. It as it goes up, the artery is medial. The popliteal the popliteal artery is medial. Popliteal vein is lateral. Okay, so the popliteal artery, popliteal vein, and the tibial nerve. Tibial nerve is more superficial than the popliteal vein. Then a popliteal artery. So popliteal artery is the deepest structure among these three. So superficial is tibial nerve, then the popliteal, then the popliteal vein, then the popliteal artery. Okay, we have gone through the relationships. Now we go to the to the clinical anatomy. Clinical anatomy of the popliteal artery. Okay. Popliteal artery may go, there may be chance of development of aneurysm. Aneurysm is the abnormal dilatation of the blood vessel. Okay. So, this is aneurysm. So, popliteal artery is a common site of aneurysm. There may be chance of arteriovenous fistula due to some type of trauma to the knee joint. The popliteal artery may be open and popliteal artery may communicate with that of the popliteal vein. So, arteriovenous fistula following a A trauma. Okay, we got that. And popliteal artery, 
popliteal artery is a site of measurement of blood pressure is a site of measurement measurement of blood pressure okay it is important in some disease condition when there is co-arbitration of the aorta aorta is narrow especially the arch of the aorta then we may have different blood pressure higher blood pressure in the on the in the brachial artery lower blood pressure in the popliteal artery okay you can also assess the popliteal pulse popliteal pulse idea is that to assess the popliteal pulse we have to flex the knee joint passively and we must push a little down because Popliteal artery is deeply located. So we got the mechanical importance of the popliteal artery. Okay, now we'll go to the popliteal vein. Popliteal vein. We'll go to the popliteal vein. Popliteal vein is formed at the lower border of the popliteus muscle. Okay. It is formed at the lower border of the popliteus. So it may be a continuation of the posterior tibial vein or it may be formed by the union of the vena comitentis of the anterior and posterior tibial arteries. Its formation is at the lower border of the popliteus muscle. Okay, we got that. So what are the tributaries of the popliteal vein? Popliteal vein has tributaries like that of the okay tributaries corresponding to the to the branches of popliteal artery branches of popliteal artery it is one most important tributary is the small saphenous vein small saphenous vein this small saphenous vein pierces the popliteal fossa it passes between the two head of the gastrocnemius and it pierces the popliteal fascia in the middle of the popliteal fossa and it opens into the popliteal vein so small saphenous vein is a tributary of the popliteal vein okay what is the clinical importance of popliteal vein okay clinical importance of popliteal vein popliteal vein popliteal vein may be the route of thrombus propagation that is it is the route for the for the embolus from the deep vein of the calf muscle going to the heart okay and ultimately reaching to the pulmonary artery causing pulmonary embolism so embolus